and this caused the bonds within the hydrogen and nitrogen molecules to weaken. So as the bonds within the hydrogen and nitrogen molecules weakened, the nitrogen and hydrogen atoms bonded together. And as they bonded together, the bonds that they had initially formed with the iron started to weaken. So now we have NH3 which dissolves from the iron and after it has dissolved from the iron, it diffuses away from it. So this is uh, how the heterogeneous catalysis, this example of heterogeneous catalysis takes place and it's similar for all other examples of heterogeneous catalysis. So uh, you can write all of this down, uh, pause the video and write all of this down and you'll be good to go. So now we have done homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysis and for those who have seen my presentation on uh, my playlist on rates of reaction saw this exact same slide on enzymes and the reason why I'm doing this again it's because they ask questions of enzymes in A-levels as well. So as you know enzymes are biological catalysts and the most important feature of an enzyme is that it works for a specific reaction like for example the enzyme amylase that, are present, that is present in, in our bodies. Uh, it works to uh, break down starch into sugar molecules. So that enzyme is called amylase and it is only used for that particular reaction. It cannot speed up any other reaction. So this characteristic of an enzyme is known as enzyme specificity which means it's only, it's, it, it's only for one specific reaction. Now we can demonstrate enzyme specificity using a lock and key mechanism. It's also known as the lock and key model. Now, as you know, uh, a lock has a specific pattern inside and only a particular key can unlock that lock. So similarly, an enzyme only speeds up a particular reaction. So what happens is that just like a lock, an enzyme has a specific shape and a substrate molecule, which is the starch in the case of uh, amylase, uh, it, it comes and attaches to the shape. It, it, uh, the, the, the shape of the substrate is such that it can attach to the enzyme. It can it attach exactly to the enzyme. So when it attaches over here, uh, an enzyme substrate complex is formed and the bonds within the starch are broken. So as the bonds are broken, the products are formed and they move away from the enzyme. So the substrate molecule is then broken and it moves away from the enzyme. So uh, this is called the lock and key mechanism and you can see that uh, it demonstrates enzyme specificity. Now two more important characteristics of enzymes. Uh, enzymes are more efficient than inorganic catalysts like iron and all. So uh, they are more efficient which means that uh, they speed up reactions more than uh, like the, the, the rate at which they speed up reaction is far more than inorganic catalysts and uh, an enzyme works in specific conditions like neutral pH and around body temperature. Now this makes a lot of sense because obviously the temperature inside our body we have enzymes inside our body and they can only function at body temperature which is the temperature inside our bodies. So if the temperature changes to an extreme such as too hot or too cold then the enzymes get denatured and the neutral pH is also a condition that is favored by enzymes. So um, yeah this is it for reaction kinetics and uh, at the end of the chapter. You can practice papers at gcguide.org. The link is in the description. You can email me your doubts at alevelchemistryfree at gmail.com. The email ID is also in the description. Keep practicing and stay tuned for the next playlist. Thank you.